congratulations on the movie, first of all. Thanks so much. It's absolutely such a beautiful story, and I was so thrilled that I got to bring my sister with me to this screening. I'd actually never taken her to a screening before, and I think I picked the perfect movie to have How her there. How old your sister? She was a mess. She cried the entire time. <laughs> um, but it's a tearjerker, you know? I mean, it's a really beautiful story, and it, it makes you cry at all the, at all the right places. Right. Um, what really drew you to this playing this character, being a part of this beautiful story, and why did you want to make this film? Um, well, when I read the script, I thought I was impressed at how a lot of family movies nowadays are pretty fluffy. They're not really that um, mature. And um, I thought this is a family movie for all ages, but there's mature undertones to it, and there's genuinely like emotional scenes and complex characters. And um, so I definitely gravitated towards that. And um, I mean, I, I love dogs. Yeah. I've always and um, I'm not growing up around them all my life, so I thought working with one would be an interesting experience. I knew it'd be tough, but it was it was it was a lot of fun. Yes, sure. um, tell us about that, about getting finding Carlos, and what about what about these dogs for this movie? What kind of work goes into finding the right animals for a movie like this? Well, we we had a, an amazing trainer called Mark Forbes, who has one of the best companies for training animals called Birds and Animals, and Mark went out and looked in several countries as well as America for the best Belgian Malinois <laughs> and he found Carlos and when he sent us the photo of, of Carlos we knew that's who it had to be and then we based the other dogs that supplement him in the movie ar around that dog but you know a movie is a, a group endeavor and, and certainly we couldn't have made this without Mark and his team they were amazing. That's right and how do you build a relationship with these animals knowing that you have to portray that kind of relationship on screen for cast and crew? Yeah, um, I mean it's easy when you're a dog lover, but um, I'm just working with them, like training with them for, for hours, which, which we did. Um, you grow pretty close to them pretty quickly, so um, that kind of translates into, into working. And even on set, it's, like, it's just like, you know, with people, you get really close to your co-workers because you're with them for months at a time. It's the right. same thing with those dogs. Yeah, definitely. And what about for you guys as well? Well, for us, it's a matter of taking a creature that isn't really experiencing your story the way Josh right. and the other actors are and integrating them into a story. And, and so much rely, you know, you rely so much on Josh and, and Thomas and, and, and Lauren, people like that, but really Josh, um, to sell the fact that this is what's happening in the scene, <laughs> that this emotional thing is happening, and he's got to do the work for two creatures That's in right. a way, and, and it, it's hard work, and it's also very distracting and annoying work, because as Josh has mentioned, you have trainers talking through his dialogue all the time, <laughs> and he has to just stay focused and pretend he's thinking about his brother when you're hearing, Shh, ah, ah, ah. so it's, it's, it's a technical exercise, but, you know, there's something about dogs that causes you to drop your defenses yeah, and your cynicism. And it affects you like that on set, and hopefully it affects an audience like that when yeah. they watch well, the movie. Yeah, I so. mean, totally. And I think that if anybody goes into this movie not being a dog person, they will definitely come out being a dog yeah. person. Before we wrap it up, I have to ask, just, it's my sensitive side, but I don't want to give anything away, but the dog that goes for a swim towards the end of the movie, he's all right, right? Yeah. Of course, the, do <laughs> the dogs on this movie got treated better than the actors yeah, okay, do. Good. Okay, uh, good. No need to fear. No and offense, guys, but in I fact, just, I the had dog to that's in the water yeah. is a digital dog. Oh, thank God! <laughs> that's that is, that that's is not the, even oh a real gosh. dog. My sister will be thrilled. <laughs> Tell her it's a CGI dog in the water. Okay, great. Thank you guys so <laughs> you much. We at AMC cannot wait to have it on screen. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you.